It is an ambitious goal to create an event that will have the chance to rise to the top 10 events that attract tourists worldwide. Our aim, first of all, is to show that history is interesting, secondly, that history is alive, and thirdly, that it should be interactive. History can be touched. It must be touched. Modern people should have a close hand-to-hand -hand contact with history. I mean, it's hard to say what is more interesting. Really vivid battle scenes or everyday life in historical camps communication with the reenactors and their families. Well, to be honest, this second part sometimes leaves an even more powerful impression than all of the bright and colorful battles. The participants of the festival, reenactors, they are totally authentic. You may say that a person was taken from the historical epoch to which the festival of the particular year is dedicated and moved here to the 21st century for the Times and Epochs Festival in Moscow. It's greater than Hollywood in the sense that this is such a natural process where a guest is not only an observer, but becomes an integral part of the event. Our team consists mostly of reenactors, people who are so deeply plunged in the past that it became part of their lives. And it is even more astonishing that they manage to transfer their hobby to real life so organically, managing to create a highly professional, top-quality project. They were doing this historical stuff as long as I know them. They are obsessed with it. They live it. When we meet, I am always under the impression that they are characters of their own fairy tale. Our task as organizers is to choose the best of the best from reenactors so that they would show a really top level to everybody at the festival. The level of authenticity for everything, you know, the, the fighting, the living, the food, everything was done to a very high degree of historical authenticity. Times and epochs change every year. It is a kind of annual historical kaleidoscope. That is why people who visited the festival once are interested to visit it again in the future, and we see it. The majority of those who were at the first festival of the series came again to the second one. Another epoch means an absolutely original event every year. New participants, totally new atmosphere. It is really great, it is interesting, and it is always kind of a challenge to the organizer. It is important to have a worldwide vision. We need this to monitor and check all the new achievements that appear in historical reenactment and historical events organization. And a good example that I have eyewitnessed myself is the Times and Epochs Historical Festival series in Moscow that show the benefit of international cooperation in this sphere.